Cop Boys Season 4 begins with Jamie being released from prison after getting help from Duchesne. Duchesne assisted Jamie by providing his lawyers with CCTV footage of a green bag being planted in Jamie's home. Jamie is out of prison, but now he works with Duchesne. A shakeup in Duchesne's supply line occurs when Emilio finds out his wife has six months to live, and he tells Lizzie that he's out of the business because he wants to spend all of his remaining time with his wife. Without Emilio being involved anymore, Lizzie is worried that Duchesne will be inclined to cut her out of the business because he no longer needs her. So she has Emilio set up a meeting with Juan Abuelo to keep the supply line intact. Lizzie and Antonio meet with Juan Abuelo, a Spanish police officer, to let him know that Antonio will be taking over for Emilio from now on, and assure him that he will continue to get paid. The meeting takes a turn, however, when Antonio is gunned down. This hit was ordered by a rival gang named Los Ducas. When Lizzie informs Duchesne about what happened to Antonio in the meeting, he flies down to Morocco to talk to the suppliers directly. Upon arriving in Morocco, he meets with Munir, a low-level member of the Moroccan organization, at a restaurant, and immediately tells him that he wants to speak with his boss, Kosh. Duchesne is running low on drugs and needs to get resupplied. The Moroccans and Duchesne come to an agreement on shipments, but Juan Abuelo seems to know when and where all these shipments will be hitting the Spanish shores. Because of this, Duchesne believes there's a mole in the Moroccan organization, so he sends Jamie down to deal with the situation. While there, Jamie discovers that Kosh really works for Manir, and Manir sends a fake shipment of drugs to flush out the mole, who turns out to be Crito. Kosh shoots him immediately. With the mole problem out of the way, Jamie convinces Duchesne to let him stay and talk with Juan to arrange some sort of deal rather than fighting with him and those Ducas in the future. Jamie's motivation for the meeting, however, isn't to aid Duchesne. Jamie and Lizzie are joining forces, and Jamie wants to talk with Juan to let him know that eventually he's going to take over Duchesne's organization, and he would like to work with Los Ducas and Juan after he does. The official line that Jamie brings back to Duchesne is that Juan wants a steep price of 25% of all drug shipments the Moroccans send to Duchesne along with a $100,000 down payment. In return for this, Juan will let all shipments through on the Spanish side of the Mediterranean. This settlement sort of brings closure to the issues with Juan, which Shane doesn't like the steep price tag. Jamie is power hungry and ruthless in business, but he does have a close relationship with his brothers, and he became a father figure to them after they were orphaned. Shane has a lot going on financially now, as he's a top player in the London drug market, so he buys himself a fancy new flat with a high-tech security system. He's got a lot of money at this point, but he needs to launder it to make it useful to him in the legitimate world. He's got two options. Option one, launder it the usual way and get 30 cents back on the dollar. Or option two, launder it through Jeffrey's redevelopment of Summer House and get 70 cents back on the dollar. Duchesne chooses the latter. This puts him at odds with his mother and everyone else who refuses to leave their homes in Summer House. Additionally, Duchesne's relationship with Shelley is getting more serious. Shelley and her daughter Tish have moved out of Summer House and into Duchesne's flat and Duchesne wants them to be a family. At this point, the two founding members of the Summer House gang, Soli and Duchesne, have a fractured relationship after Soli killed Driss in season three. Soli at the moment is living on a houseboat and he's out of the Summer House gang he and Duchesne started. Soli is trying to stay low and out of the business until his relative Pebbles forces him back into it when she tells him she stole some drugs from a gang in Peckham that wanted her to deliver the drugs for them. Soli arranges to give the drugs back to the gang, but it isn't good enough for them and they track him down in his houseboat and abduct him. The gang beats Soli up and idiotically posts a video of the beating on social media, which many members of the Summerhouse gang see. This causes Duchesne to rally his troops and gun down the Peckham group to free Soli. In return for freeing him, Soli agrees to Duchesne's request for him to go and talk with Juan Abuelo, because he doesn't fully trust Jamie. When Soli does talk with Juan, he ends up gunning him down and his men with a gun that's taped to the bottom of a pastry box. Soli now realizes that Jamie was making some kind of deal with Juan, and he doesn't think he can be trusted. More on this later. Around this same time, Rubit is arrested by the cops, one of whom is Sarah Morrison, who was an undercover officer at Summer House for over a year. They have enough on Rubin to send him away for a long time, unless he rolls over on Duchesne. Initially, Rubin agrees to a plea deal, until Duchesne pays him a visit in prison and threatens Rubin's family members. After this, he refuses to comply with the police. Back in London, Jack's sister Lauren is pregnant and she's having problems with her psychotic and abusive boyfriend Curtis. Curtis and his sister V are small-time arms dealers, but they're making life difficult on Lauren. Jack is second in charge in the Summerhouse gang, but her sister Lauren is on the outs with Duchesne and Soli because she almost got Soli killed in season 3 after telling her then-boyfriend Leighton that Soli was going to a funeral for Jason. Because of this, Duchesne is reluctant to help Lauren with her Curtis problems. Curtis is basically holding Lauren hostage in her home. He's not allowing her to have a cell phone, and he's restricting her movements. This causes Lauren to run away from Curtis when they're at the mall one day. She's able to get away from him, and Jack helps her hide, but this causes Curtis to go on a rampage. After politely asking Duchesne if he can help him find his wife and getting turned down, Curtis goes to Shelley's nano salon and shoots up the place. 
After that, Curtis robs Duchesne's stash by following Branders and Samsey, who have it at their home. Curtis tells Duchesne that he better bring Lauren to him, or he's going to burn all of his drugs and cash. Jack calls Curtis and tells him to meet her at a location of her choosing, and she'll trade Lauren for the drugs and cash. However, Jack has Duchesne and the Summerhouse gang with her, and they're planning on killing Curtis. Just as Curtis is about to go and meet with Jack, Lauren calls him on the phone and tells him she's sorry and she wants to come back home with him. When he gets to the house, Lauren stabs him to death when he has his back turned. With Curtis now dead, Sully calls V and tells her that Curtis isn't going to be showing up anymore, and it would be in her interest to get out of the city and give back the drugs, or they will track them down. Finally, Duchesne finds out that someone named Dexter killed Atz, who was found in a dumpster. We know that Kit requested that Dexter scare the kid. Dexter went too far. But Duchesne isn't aware of this. When Duchesne and his crew are closing in on Dexter, Kit gets in there first and kills him, right before Duchesne arrives on the scene. Duchesne is skeptical about this because it looks like Kit is covering something up, but he doesn't know what. He talks with Jamie and tells him that he needs to find out what Kit is hiding. When Jamie talks to Kit, he reveals that he hired Dexter, and Jamie thinks his only option is to tell Duchesne this information. After hearing this, Duchesne says that Jamie needs to take Kit out as a show of loyalty or else his gang will come after Jamie next. Initially, Jamie is going to leave with Kit to Cardiff to hide out, but he realizes it is in the best interest of his brothers to stay in London, so he decides to kill Kit instead. The season looks to be ending on a high note when we see the young Moroccan boy Jamie met early in season four getting a ride with smugglers to Spain to meet up with his sister. He used the watch that Jamie gave him as payment. Duchesne has a change of heart on the redevelopment of Summer House after his mother passes away. He confronts Jeffrey and tells him that Lizzie has been moving against him in Spain, and either she is dead or the development deal needs to go. It's one or the other, and Jeffrey can choose. The residents of Summer House are overjoyed when they learn the redevelopment is being suspended. It looks like season 4 is going to end on a happy note, until the final scene, when Sully guns down Jamie at his apartment in front of his brothers. This is a gut-wrenching scene, and it will be interesting to see how the final season plays out, because it didn't look like Sully got his orders from Duchesne on this one. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.